All right, installing the uh, uh, oil level sensor is a very, very simple process. Basically, punch out one of the holes on the side, take the standard Cat5 Ethernet cable that you have, connect it to the power supply and to your network, slide it through into the connector. Thread your fitting on and connect the Ethernet. Simply just wait until the connected LED light comes on, which will mean, see, it just came on there, which will mean it's talking to the uh, main servers and uh, it can be configured remotely from there. You do all that after, of course, you've screwed this on top of the tank. Now we've removed the cap off of this oil tank, it's a standard 275 gallon oil tank. We remove what was an additional uh, cap on a 2 inch. We're going to go ahead and screw in our, our level sensor. It screws right in, same thread size. Um, no need to add a wrench to this. Uh, hand tight is is more than sufficient there's plenty of thread there and uh, because it's nylon it'll make a nice seal the uh, some plumber's tape if you like you're concerned about uh, any kind of any bits but uh, that's it after that we'll bring our cat5 cable in from the Ethernet power supply um, plug that into the port here and wait for the connection light to come on turn the screw and we're done after that the configuration is handled all online so basically, I, I've got a new sensor in and on the oil tank, and I'm basically going to log in at brighttech.com. I'm going to log in to the uh, to my WebConnect dashboard. I'm going to select a location, and I see that I have a new icon here. Uh, these are all the systems I have: home automation, camera control, direct touchscreen control, monitoring, and system information, and now my fuel level. I can click on fuel level and I can see that I have 112 gallons of fuel available and maybe that's all I need to know but if I want to get a little more information I can click on detailed information I get to the main sensor site I see all my sensors click on that sensor I can see where uh, how much fuel I've been using I can change my dates and even download it to Excel I also have a, an alarm area where I can set that when uh, the oil reserve is at 80% a low level these are all adjustable and the email's coming right to me. So it's very, very straightforward uh, to get more information when I need it and just the little bit of information that I have in this particular sensor we have uh, for both an oil tank, for home heating fuel, and the generator so that we know if our emergency generator has uh, enough oil in it. And that's how Brightex's new uh, Symbiont oil level sensor works.